Understanding State Capitalism, Socialism, and Communism Key Differences and Similarities In the realm of economic and political ideologies, state capitalism, socialism, and communism often stir intense debates and evoke strong opinions. While these terms are sometimes used interchangeably in popular discourse, each represents a distinct approach to economic management and governance. Understanding their differences and similarities is essential for grasping the nuances of global political economies. Defining the terms state capitalism State capitalism refers to an economic system where the state plays a significant role in the economy, often by owning or controlling major businesses and industries. However, unlike socialism or communism, state capitalism operates within a capitalist framework, meaning the primary motive for economic activity is profit. The state may intervene in markets to support national industries, but it typically allows private enterprise and maintains the capitalist structures of competition and wage labor. Socialism Socialism is an economic and political system characterized by public ownership or control of the means of production and distribution of goods. The goal of socialism is to reduce inequality by redistributing wealth more fairly across society, often through state intervention and regulation. In a socialist system, the state may own key industries, such as healthcare, education, and transportation, but private ownership of smaller businesses is usually allowed. Communism. Communism is both a political ideology and an economic system where all property is publicly owned, and each person works and is paid according to their abilities and needs. It envisions a classless, stateless society where the means of production are communally owned, eliminating the concept of private property entirely. The ultimate aim of communism is to achieve a society where wealth and power are distributed equally and all forms of social hierarchy are abolished. Key Differences Ownership of Means of Production In state capitalism, the means of production can be owned by both the state and private entities. The state may own significant sectors of the economy, such as energy or transportation, but private capital and enterprise are still allowed and even encouraged in other sectors. In socialism, the means of production are predominantly publicly or collectively owned. The government often controls major industries, while smaller-scale businesses might remain privately owned or cooperatively managed. In communism, all means of production are communally owned, with no private ownership allowed. The economy is managed collectively to ensure equitable distribution based on need. Economic Motives State capitalism is primarily driven by profit and market competition, even though the state may play a strong regulatory role or own key enterprises. Socialism aims to achieve social equity and reduce economic inequality by redistributing wealth and providing social welfare programs. Communism seeks to abolish profit motives entirely, aiming for a classless society where resources are distributed based on need, not market dynamics. Role of the State Under state capitalism, the state acts as a significant market player, intervening to protect national interests, but generally operates within a capitalist framework. In socialism, the state plays a central role in planning and managing the economy to achieve social objectives, such as reducing inequality and providing public services. In communism, the state is initially necessary to transition from capitalism to communism. But in the ideal communist society, the state would eventually wither away as a classless, stateless society emerges. Class Structure State capitalism maintains the existing class structure where there are distinct classes, including capitalists, both state and private, and workers. Socialism seeks to reduce class disparities through redistribution and social welfare, but it does not necessarily abolish class distinctions outright. Communism aims for a completely classless society where all people are equal and there is no private ownership of production. 
Key Similarities Role of the State Both state capitalism and socialism involve significant state intervention in the economy. In state capitalism, this is often to protect and promote national interests and key industries, whereas in socialism, the state intervenes to ensure social welfare and equity. In the early stages of communism, the state also plays a central role in managing the transition from a capitalist to a communist society. Critique of laissez-faire Capitalism all three systems, state capitalism, socialism, and communism, offer critiques of laissez-faire capitalism, particularly concerning issues of inequality and social justice. State capitalism criticizes unregulated markets and often intervenes to stabilize or protect the economy, while socialism and communism go further by advocating for systemic changes to eliminate or mitigate inequality. Economic Planning Socialism and communism emphasize economic planning to achieve social goals. State capitalism also utilizes economic planning, particularly in state-owned sectors or industries deemed strategically important. However, the scope and purpose of planning differ, with state capitalism primarily focused on national economic strength and stability, while socialism and communism emphasize equitable distribution and societal well-being. Conclusion While state capitalism, socialism, and communism share certain similarities, particularly in their critique of laissez-faire capitalism and their emphasis on state intervention, they differ significantly in their goals, methods, and visions for society. State capitalism operates within a capitalist framework with a focus on state intervention and national interests. Socialism seeks to balance economic growth with social welfare and equity, advocating for public ownership of major industries and wealth redistribution. Communism, in its purest form, seeks a radical transformation of society into a classless, stateless community where all resources are shared according to need. Understanding these differences and similarities is crucial for engaging in informed discussions about global political economies and envisioning the future paths societies might take in their quest for economic and social justice.